All right, so we made it to the Terry Fox Monument just outside of Thunder Bay. The girls were very excited to see it and to see the sleeping giant. Well, so will that Terry Fox want to go sleep? And this is where Terry stopped his marathon of hope, right? Yep. Terry Fox was a true Canadian hero. In 1980, with one leg amputated due to cancer, he embarked on a Cross Canada run to raise money and awareness for cancer research. The Marathon of Hope began in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. He ran the equivalent of a full marathon every day. He became a national star by the time he reached Ontario. Unfortunately, after 143 days and 5,373 kilometers, his cancer forced him to end his run just outside of Thunder Bay. Terry is a national hero and this monument was built in his honor. Where are we? A Terry Fox one. And what's behind you? What is that? Sleeping giant. What is it? Sleeping giant. Why is he sleeping? Because that's his name, sleeping giant. Oh, and we're in Thunder Bay. And what else did we make it to? And now what are we going to do? I'm going to turn around and go back. Back home. <laughs> because it's dark. I know, we should get the good lens. All right, so we're at, hold on, I'm gonna have to think about this. Oh yeah, we're at Government Dock Beach right now, um, which is just outside of Wawa. We arrived last night, we decided to put the girls to sleep and drive as much as we could last night till about one in the morning. Um, so we didn't have to put them through driving too much while they're awake. So we basically drove to Thunder Bay, saw a Cherry Fox monument, and turned around. And that's why we pushed some driving through the night. Um, we would have liked to have maybe done some stuff in Thunder Bay, but it's really hard traveling in towns during COVID because all of the playgrounds are closed, visitor centers are closed restaurants are closed so like anything that we used to do with them when we would arrive at a town is not an option um, and we're trying to be as respectful as we can with the social distancing and following all the guidelines so we're staying very secluded The one thing I love about Northern Ontario is sharing it with our kids and getting to show them some of the cool spots that we've seen on our honeymoon about seven years ago and then also all the cool waterfalls and roadside attractions that Northern Ontario has to offer. Say?
Would you, would, would you kayak that, Lux? No. <laughs> would you kayak that, Ivy? Yes! <laughs> And the theme for this trip continues. The theme is secluded beaches. Let's check this out. We're at Catherine's Cove and there's not a soul. Clean what? Since it's not a very nice day for swimming, we had to modify our plans. So instead of swimming, we got creative. Hey, Lux. Lux, show me what you made. Alicia What's her name? Alicia. And every dolly needs to have a beach shelter. So we're in the process of making a beach shelter. This is a dolly's house, we call it. We've been waiting it out here for a while, hoping that the weather would turn nicer because this is a beautiful section, a uh, very nice sandy beach. We're hoping to one day come back and do the coastal trail possibly with the kids when they're older. But for now, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any warmer weather, so we might hit the road and start driving back and start heading towards Manitoulin Island. So we're gonna try to find a spot to stay for the night and hopefully it gets warmer and we can still find somewhere to swim today all right so we're pulled over at harmony beach having our supper and we're gonna go check out the water see if it's warm enough for a swim and then we're not sure where we're going to stay tonight so we'll see where we end up okay so we're getting snorkel mode on here at harmony beach on lake superior all right, let's do snorkel mode. Look, see my belly button, that's my snorkel mode. <gasps> All right, mm. we're gonna go swim again. <laughs> 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 